Hello, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and I am living my best life. I'm filming this on Monday night, so I just worked a full day, commuted back home, and I don't know why, but have you ever had this, like, happen where, like, you're doing your makeup, and no matter what you do, like, it's just a bad makeup day? <laughs> It like it, oh I, I tried to do an eye look with my pen that palette the blood sugar palette and I don't know what went wrong it looked horrible so I ended up just like throwing glitter all over it to kind of cover it up and my eye look looked like trash today right the face makeup was like decent but it wasn't great and I have no idea I just I just had an off day it was a Monday is what I could have, <laughs> is what kind of day it was and so I needed to film this today and I thought okay either I can like redo my makeup and like try to look presentable or I could just get comfy cozy and do like my skincare routine which 90% of it is done. I stopped after like my serums and my before my moisturizer and we're gonna do a sheet mask as we go through our be wow. And I am living my comfy coziest life. I've literally got like my uh nightgown on. It's oh it's from my Harry Potter vlog if you have <laughs> been here for that long. About a year ago I went to Harry Potter World after a work trip and I picked up this shirt and I am using it as a nightgown so I still <laughs> use that. If you missed that vlog I'll throw it up in the cards. It's like my only vlog and I'm like hella proud of it. It's really nice and I love it. <laughs> but yeah I'm in my PJs. I literally just did my skincare. I had some dinner and I've got a nice glass of Coquito. It's like our leftovers that we, we have like half a bottle left over and that doesn't last that long. So we have to drink it, <laughs> which do I need an excuse to? No, but I just feel so comfy and cozy. Like it's, it's warm up here. I got my PJs on. Like I just want to put a sheet mask on and like read in bed and just like, oh, oh my God, I'm loving it. But what we're going to do is talk about some product updates because I did purchase qu quite a bit since the last Be Wow because it's been like almost a month since the last be wow it's been a while so we're not i'm not gonna catch everything that i bought over the past month but we're gonna talk about the highlights <laughs> and what i'm working on and then we'll actually get into new products because i haven't actually been focusing too much on new like trend mood or what's coming out there's been one or two things that have caught my eye but like most of what we're gonna see here is gonna be like a raw first reaction okay so first i actually want to talk about some products that were gifted to me through influencer i did get a vox box my first vox box through influencer and i've thoroughly tested out the products. I've posted most of my reviews to Influencer and to my Instagram page. So if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably already seen this. But the first product is like this EOS lip balm and called, it's in Pink Me Up. And it's supposed to be like a tinted <laughs> lip balm. And this broke me out. Like if you see the remains down here, that is from this. It is heavily scented and it's really hard and like waxy. So this I cannot recommend because, uh, yeah, check out my Instagram if you missed it because I did post a full review along with like pictures of what my face looked like right after. It's not good. Next, also gifted to me through Influencer is this lotion. This is the Gold Bond Ultimate Hydrating Cream. and It's an oil infused cream. So it's like a lighter, a bit oilier lotion. And I love this for my full body. It was so comfy and it didn't feel like thick or sticky underneath my clothes so I could use this right after the shower and then like get dressed and I would be fine and I loved that especially because now that we're in winter all up here is like really dry my lower legs are really dry so this worked perfectly for that for my hands I like a thicker like cream so this wasn't my favorite for just my hands but this was really good as like an all-over body lotion and I'm definitely like gonna purchase this actually like with my own money because I like this lotion a lot and it just it just helped. I have some like thicker lotions that I use all over my body but that one was definitely better. I like the thicker cream save for my hands. Thinner lotions like that work really good for my body. All right and last but not least through Influencer I got from Eva NYC. This is the Main Magic 10 in 1 Styling Mousse and I have used it today. What I found is that this is a really nice lightweight mousse I typically like it better for refreshing my hair. So like if my hair has been like this for a couple of days and I spray it with some water and then I go in and style it with this, it looks good. It's got just a light amount of hold. It keeps frizz at bay and it works really well that way. If it's a wash day and my hair is soaking wet and I'm styling it, it doesn't work as well. So this is something I really do like for refreshing because it is hard to find something that works good for like a refresh but I don't like using this on like a wash day. So I don't know how often I would use it, but so I'm still, I'm only about like a quarter of the way through. I'm gonna keep testing it out and see what I think, but 
I'm kind of like meh on it so far. So from Influencer, we had like one hit, one miss, and one on the fence. Next, let's talk about some things I actually picked up either with gift cards or on my own because if you didn't know, we celebrate Christmas, my birthday is a few days before Christmas, and like all of my gift cards and gifts come in during that one week in December. <laughs> So first, I think I talked about these already, but I got these little quads from Midas Cosmetics. I got the Pumpkin Spice Latte Palette, which I've used this a couple of times and I love it. <laughs> it's amazing. Where was this? I wish this had come out in fall or I had it in fall because that would have been perfect. And then I have the Green Tea Macchiato, which I'm not liking as much just because I kind of wish these had been green shades too, but... We'll see. I am planning to do a spotlight on petite palettes with both of these, mostly like one look on each eye, so keep an eye out for that. Next, I finally picked up the Nude Light Palette from Huda Beauty, and I actually wore this for my Thanksgiving, not Thanksgiving, where am I? For my New Year's dinner look with my boyfriend's family, I wore this, and it was very light and very pinky. It's a very pink toned palette. But I love the look that I got with it, so did my boyfriend, and I got compliments on it. So I am planning to do also a Spotlight on Petite palettes with this once I just have some more time to like play around with it and test out every shade. Next, I actually jumped on and bought some Fenty shadows for the first time. So I got, I gotta, can I pull them apart? Yes. So I got two of the little small palettes. I got palettes five and six. So this is the Smoky palette and the like peachy coral palette. So let me open the mip. Yeah, so they're very pretty. I've played around a little bit with the peach one. I haven't used a smoky one yet, and I like that the packaging, so you're supposed to be able to click together. There we go. So they actually click together, so you can have this one on this side, and then flip it around, and you got this one. They actually do physically click together. I thought it was just magnetic, but it's not. They actually, like, clip together with that pla plastic casing. Let me know if you guys also want a spotlight on petite palettes. I'm shocked at how many tiny palettes I picked up <laughs> this holiday season. But if you want to see a spotlight on petite palettes with one of these or both of them, let me know down below. All right, and the last product I want to talk about is actually one that was sent to me in PR. And this is from a brand called Esquido. Esquido? E-S-Q-I-D-O. You let me know. And these are just their gel eyeliner pencils. So they sent me a brown and they sent me a black. So, so far they're really, really pigmented and smooth. Yeah, that's barely, like me barely touching like the pencil to my skin. I have only tested them out a few times, so I don't want to give my full thoughts on them just yet. But, I mean, they're promising. Can't say if they follow through yet, but they look very promising. So, let's put on this sheet mask. This is from a brand called Dear Packer, and it's the Lily Honey Sheet Mask. So for my birthday, my boyfriend's mom actually got me like a, just a giant bag <laughs> filled with sheet masks. So I have like a like two dozen sheet masks. It's awesome. <laughs> and as my boyfriend said, it's in Korean, so you know it's legit. <laughs> His words. So let's put this on. They are very juicy. I should have gotten a mirror to do this, huh? Well, I can just do it in the viewfinder. And I like that these, they actually have like this little mesh plastic or whatever to separate the mask from itself so you don't have to like rip it to get it open. Ooh, perfect. And I forgot to mention this is like the soothing mask, so it's supposed to be soothing. Can I actually have my drink on? Yeah, I'll go. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is something I actually tweeted about today, and it's from Physicians Formula, and I thought it was like a foundation with a terrible shade range, because this is all that was released on UltaBeauty.com and through the app. It's two shades. Two shades of a concealer and two shades of, like, or three shades of the foundation. So I saw that and I was like, the hell is that? I don't care if you're drugstore, you're the higher end of drugstore. You couldn't come out with a shade range like that and not like get torn to the ground, right? Right. I didn't think this mask thing through. I'm Batman. But Physicians Formula actually responded to a tweet and it says that they actually offer 12 shades of the foundation and 6 shades of the concealer, but Ulta doesn't carry all of them. Now, 12 is better than 2, but like only 12 shades. And six shades of a concealer, that's not enough shades of concealer. So because of that, 
I really don't want to try this out until they expand because they did a decent job of expanding like their other shade ranges. Like with the Butter Bronzer, they have such a good range for the Butter Bronzer now. Just, just, just be inclusive from the start. I don't know why they the, these brands always use this, oh, well, we'll add shades later on, which is always like, you know, a possibility. But like, why can't they just be inclusive from the beginning? Okay, so that was on Twitter. Let's actually go to uh, Instagram. We'll take a look at Trend Mood for the first time and who knows how long. So the first thing I see is the new Trend Mood box, which that still doesn't make any sense to me. I'm not interested. I'm not going to pick it up. I think it's stupid. I think Trend Mood has gotten too big for their britches, to be quite honest. They're just a, not just, but they're a makeup news site. Like, I don't really like this oversaturation of the market where like anyone and everyone can come out with a box or a subscription or a palette or what. I just think it's too much and I don't think it really fits. So Estee Lauder came out with a collab with Danielle Lauder who is the great granddaughter of Estee Lauder. At first I thought oh this is kind of mad but then I thought about it and I'm like this is actually kind of cool. Not only are they like acknowledging like the original Estee Lauder they're bringing in her great granddaughter in to do this it's a new fresh kind of different look for them for a company that I would consider an old lady makeup brand I think this is actually kind of cool and in a different way to bring in some new types of makeup I think the brushes look adorable I think the palette the eyeshadow palette if that's what it is what are you oh it's a multi-look palette so it's got so you can use it for like your eyes for your cheeks and I think it looks kind of meh, but it's definitely better than what Estee Lauder has come out with in the past. And I love the way that highlighter looks. Like, I kind of really want that highlighter. Who knew? And I'm living for, like, the marble packaging. Just, like, like Taylor Wynn circa 2016. Like, I'm living for it. <laughs> but I think it's, it's really cute. And I think I might look into maybe picking up one or two things from this. I mean, this mask is, like, super juicy. Okay, so when I first saw this, I was so excited. Milani is coming out with a new foundation. It's called the Screen Queen Luminous Foundation. The shade range looks pretty good, and, like, I'm so excited to try this out. I tried already looking online, but I don't think it's out yet. It's coming soon online, yes. But I think it's in already in some store, so I need to go to Ulta. I haven't gone to Ulta in a long time, like, actually in the store. So I think I might go this weekend. But I really want to find this. I want to find a good shade because I did try out, everyone used to love like their original foundation. I tried that out. I could not find a shade that matched me. And the formula just didn't work for me at all. It was kind of like clay on my face. So I really want to try this. I love that like dewy and luminous foundations are in because I think this is the time of year definitely for them. That's what I'm reaching for currently too because it's so dry and so blur. So I cannot wait to try this out. I don't know how I feel about this one. So Bite Beauty, which normally they do lip products and lipsticks and stuff, they're coming out with a complexion line. They're coming out with a foundation and a powder. So it is called the Change Maker Supercharged Micellar Foundation. It's going to be $39. And the Change Maker Flexible Coverage Pressed Powder, which is going to be 36 powders powders. <laughs> $36. A clean, long-wearing foundation with gentle micellar technology that mimics skin texture for a natural, flawless finish. I, I've, I've never heard of micellar used in a context other than like a makeup remover. Have you guys? That seemed a bit weird to me when I read through that. So yeah, looking at the prices, honestly, I'm not like that excited for it. The shade range looks okay. I think it definitely leans more towards the beige. It doesn't have too many deep shades. But yeah, I'm just, I'm not really interested in something at that price point right now. I'm so excited for this. So e.l.f. Cosmetics is coming out with new versions of their putty primer. They are coming out with a, not only are they coming out with like a matte and a luminous putty primer for your face, they're also coming out with new putty primers specifically for your eyes. So they're coming out with like eye putty primers which I think may or may not be a good dupe for like a MAC paint pot, which is what I'm looking for. Because even though like I have other eye primers, the MAC paint pots work really well. I only buy them on sale during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty because they always go on sale then, which is when I bought my last two and I still have them in my like backup kind of drawer area. But I really want to compare that to these new 
putty primers from e.l.f. I cannot wait to get my hands on them. Another reason I have to go to Ulta, I need to find these. And I think they're on the e.l.f. website, but I, I need to go to Ulta, so I'm just gonna wait till I go to Ulta. So there's a new palette from Pinky Rose Cosmetics in collaboration with Riley Rose, and it's called the Stormy palette. And I have to say, I love the idea of the shadows being in like lightning bolt forms. That'd make a really cool like Harry Potter palette. Come on, right? But with the amount of like pressed glitters in here, I'm not gonna use that. I'm not gonna go for that. The colors look stunning. The packaging looks adorable, but I'm not gonna. I know I wouldn't use it. Okay, I got a few things about this. First of all, it involves Kathleen Lights, who I don't support. I don't really support any of these bigger YouTubers, but specifically because she had an issue with the n-word which you know if anyone else recently there's been issues of people saying the n-word but hers just got swept under the rug and like everyone forgot about it so i didn't second of all this is a collab with briogeo which as far as i know did like hair care and i think skincare and they're collabing on essential oils so i don't want to like ugh, how do i say this in a way that's not completely not pc it's giving me super serious MLM vibes, but also like like they're saying lavender and bergamot paired with amethyst is calming and soothing, and rose and clove paired with rose quartz promote loving vibrations and forgiveness. Like this is just, I mean, aromatherapy. All all those such oils do is they smell good. <laughs> Most of them, anyway. You don't ingest them. You don't put them on your face. They just smell good. So I don't see the purpose of this collab. I'm just, like I could just sit here and sigh and roll my eyes for 10 minutes and it still wouldn't get across how just like over it I am with this. It's so stupid. So we've been getting sneak peeks of the new Makeup Geek rebranding. I really wanna purchase some products from Makeup Geek once the rebranding is out there and they're showing new products. I specifically, I want to get like a face palette from Makeup Geek. I think that'd be really nice. Or like make my own face palette. I don't know if I would buy singles. I'm terrible at singles. I don't use them. I don't reach for them. So I think really what I'm going to be reaching for or trying for Makeup Geek are going to be like their face complexion products. But if you have any products from Makeup Geek that you liked any experiences, let me know down below. Cause I remember when I first started watching YouTube, Makeup Geek was like the shit. <laughs> Everyone loved it. Everyone had Makeup Geek singles. Everyone needed the, the newest Makeup Geek everything. So Glam Light came out with a new eyeshadow palette and this is the Cake palette. It looks cute, but it's, is it kitschy? Yes. Don't know if I would use these shades. I'm sure I have these shades in my collection. I'm sure I could dupe the whole palette. It's kitschy, but it's cute and it's adorable. I would get, this would be such a cute birthday gift for someone. <laughs> but mm, no one around me really uses makeup as much as I do. So it's just like, that's cute. You can stay over there though. So let me talk about a pet peeve of mine. Uh, brands that repackage the same old shit to release it for a specific holiday. The new holiday is the Nooner, the Nooner. <laughs> the lunar new year and i've seen this from becca i've seen this from two-faced they're just repackaging their same old products in red packaging and calling it the lunar new year when it's it's lazy it's not Ugh. so these cute little palettes from juvia's place i like the idea of them coming out with mini palettes because they have like mainly big palettes which a lot with a lot of product and they're still affordable so not complaining about them i love juvia's place i actually just filmed um a ranking all my Juvia's Place palettes video, which according to my schedule should be coming up at the end of next week. So it'll be a little bit before that video comes out. But I did rank all of my palettes. I swatched all of them and I talk about my favorite Juvia's Place palettes. So make sure you subscribe, hit the bell so you're notified when that video comes out next week. But these cute little palettes are that, they're cute. I don't think I would need any of them because I think I pretty much have all of these shades in all the palettes that I have because I have 11 palettes from Juvia's Place. Don't really think I need any more, but I love the idea and I like the way that they're moving like as a company. Okay, so I found a lot more brands doing the Lunar New Year kind of thing. I saw one from Fenty. I saw from, uh, what brand are you? Laura Mercier. No, not Laura Mercier. That's just a poof. No, it is Laura Mercier. It's coming out with Lunar New Year packaging. Givenchy is coming out with Lunar New Year packaging. Becca... Colourpop, well Colourpop is actually coming out with new products, but Colourpop comes out with a new product every five minutes. Ooh, Fenty's coming out with a mascara. You can pre-order it. I'm not gonna pre-order a freaking 
mascara. Who the hell do you think you are? Um, I'm kind of curious. I'm not gonna lie. How much is it? How much are you? You want to pre-order it? You don't even put how much you cost? I have no idea. Kind of curious. And I am running low on mascaras. I think I have my only mascaras like open right now. So I probably have to pick up another one. But it's hard to beat the essence because it's so cheap and it's so great. Like, it's hard to justify spending more on a mascara when I have a $4 one that works incredible. Ooh, another drugstore foundation I'm excited about. Wet n Wild is coming out with a dewy version of their Photo Focus foundation. I have their original Photo Focus foundation and I like it decently. I think it works really well for like $6. But I'm excited about a dewy version. I need, I definitely need to see this in store because I have no idea what shade I am. I'll have to hold it up against my face and try to figure it out. But I'm so pale now, I'd probably be one of the lightest shades, <laughs> if not the lightest shade. But I'm excited about this and I'm hoping I can stop by either an Ulta or a CVS or something that has a nice wet and wild like display so I can get this. Oh my god guys, I actually had to talk myself out of this, which is stupid because I didn't need this. This is from Charlotte Tilbury and this is the Pillow Talk eye palette. And what got me were the swatches of the trios by themselves. Looking at the palette itself, it's like, I have this. This is a neutral palette in modern renaissance. But looking at the day versus the desk versus the date, versus the dream, which I just, I love how that's set up too. <laughs> Day, dusk, date, dream. It's so cute. Damn it. Damn it, why do I like this palette? I don't want to. This is expensive and nothing I've tried from Charlotte Tilbury has been worth the price. That's the bottom line. So far, I've tried out, I haven't tried out her eyeshadows yet. Stop it, Monica. No. I've tried out um, some face products. I've got that Filmstar bronze and duo shit. I've got a uh, concealer, like an under eye color corrector. I got, did I get a lipstick? I don't think I got a lipstick. But I've tried out so many things, Charlotte Tilbury, and none of them have been worth the price. But I don't know why this stupid palette, why did I like this? Why? <laughs> So of course while I wasn't doing this ColourPop dropped like 20 different new products one of which was another big palette which is called the It's all good palette. I think they're priced really well 30 palettes for $30. I think that's 30 palettes. Jesus Monica Have some more cookie though <laughs> 30 shades for $30. I think that's really worth it But I think this palette is just basically a bigger version of their yes, please with one of their neutral palettes. And they're like, bigger palettes are, they're bigger, they're chunkier, they're harder to work with. So I don't know why they're going with the big palettes. I want them to keep doing their nine pan palettes because those are so good. Speaking of, I really wanted to get the smoky nine pan palette and apparently it's already discontinued. Like how? How can you come out with products that fast and not even get me, like leave me a few weeks to buy it before it's immediately thrown out? <laughs> like it, uh, how are bigger influencers keeping up with this? Because by the time they film a video, put it up, say it's great, buy it, it's probably not on the website anymore. <laughs> You've got to be out your damn mind. I'm sorry. I heard about this, but I didn't look at the pricing or the details. This is the Makeup by Mario and Sephora collect collab collection thing. These brushes cost more than Sigma, and Sigma's amazing quality. Oh my god, that's, that's, okay, the full brush set is $120. $120. No. No. Nah. I've tried a few Sephora brushes. <laughs> They're trash. <laughs> I would never pay this much for Sephora brand anything. I don't care who they collabed with. I don't care how cute that stupid little makeup brush purse holder thing is i'm not doing it i don't recommend anyone else do it either oh my god cannot believe that is 120 dollars. get the hell out of here man i need to take a break after that one natasha Denona came out with a new mini palette and this is the mini nude palette and honestly i could have sworn that they already came out with this but i think the other nude palette they came out with is a warm nude palette and these are supposedly a cool tone this is a cool tone nude palette i gotta say it's it's kind of cute do i need more natasha Denona? no i don't wow tart is just running with it so we all know or most of us know the story behind the whole icy betch palette with tart well tart is running with that theme and they came out with a spicy betch <laughs> 
which I have to say it's kind of hilarious. I like this better than the Icy Bitch. Like it's got little chili peppers everywhere and the colors are actually like bright and spicy. When I look at this I think of the Hot Ones show here on YouTube. <laughs> Uh, it, it made me chuckle. Am I gonna buy it? No, but it made me chuckle. <laughs> oh, speaking of Charlotte Tilbury, apparently they came out with another new quad and it looks right up my alley with like these grungy green tones. Mm. But like, I, Monica, I just said it. Like nothing I've tried from Charlotte Tilbury has been worth the price. No, stop it. Another ColourPop release. So ColourPop came out with like these huge highlighters that look like the Marc Jacobs highlighters. Now I've already seen a few like quick reviews come out for these and apparently they're just like solid glitter. Hardcore glitter. I don't, I mean at first I looked at these and I was kind of interested but after hearing those reviews like I'm, I'm stepping back and I'm thinking twice because I don't like a heavily glittery highlighter. It's great for some looks but like what I'm normally using highlighter for I don't like glitter. Am I not recording sound? So I don't know if my sound actually just cut out, but oh well. Like I was saying, I am stepping back from this ColourPop release because I've just heard so many mixed things about it. So I think the last thing I'm going to talk about today is this new BH Cosmetics palette that like apparently flew totally under the radar. It's like an Ulta exclusive, so you can only get it at Ulta. But I have the other two Zodiac palettes, like the full-size ones, not the shitty little mini ones. The full-size ones are so good and I love them. So I'm probably... I really want to get this. Another reason why I gotta go to Ulta. Hmm. Like I need more reasons to drag my boyfriend into Ulta. Hi, hello, welcome back. It's Editing Monica. And I had to jump in here because something huge like dropped the minute like I stopped filming. So yep, Anastasia Beverly Hills, also known as the Bougie Color Pop, has come out with not only a new palette, but a new collab. This is a collab with Am Reezy. And uh quite honestly. A tweet from Georgia Harris came through and perfectly described just everything <laughs> that I have felt or thought about this palette. In the tweet, she says it looks like a BH Cosmetics palette and it's just basically neutral with a pop of blue. Who wanted this? No one. And said instead, bring back that highlighter in more shades, which 100%, yeah, they should. That was a great highlighter. And they really should have done more than just one shade. So I 100% agree with Georgia here. Best hot take on this. It looks like a BH Cosmetics palette. It looks just like a neutral with a pop of blue and it like a pop of pink. And the packaging, while it's kind of cute, it's just way too like Barbie for me. <laughs> so let's take this off and... <sighs> Once this fully sinks in, I'll go in with my moisturizer for the night. And there we have it. That is this week slash the last month's Be Wow. Let me know down below what products you guys are excited about. And let me know about the products I mentioned at the beginning of the video. What videos you want to see with those. I am going to finish my drink, get all comfy cozy, and head to bed. Because I'm tired and I had to work all day. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.